Somehow along the process, we decided to set up base camp. Not outside, not on Everest, not on the Appalachian, but in my basement. Welcome back to another video. Today we're in the studio and we got the tent set up. I'm getting back into backpacking. We're in my gear room. This is the room that needs a whole lot of work. The ceiling is falling down a little bit. We're not worried about that. We're not messing with wings. We're not messing with paragliders. We're not messing with tools today. Wow. Getting the old backpacking gear back out. There's my 3D printer. Didn't even know that was there. We're gonna get this all laid out, figure out what we need, what we got, what we want, what we wanna change, how we're gonna do it. Because my goal is, for 12 months out the year, be able to grab the bag, me and the dog go camping, backpacking, whatever we gotta do, no problem. Now it's very important to me that the dog does not get cold, I don't get cold, we all stay you know, pretty much comfortable. We're not going after survival situations, right? We're not trying to endure and prove to ourselves that we're the next Bear Grylls and all that fun stuff, that's for another time. What we're trying to do is create a leisurely activity for me and my puppy. Alrighty, so here's where we're at with it all. And the whole thing that's inspired this is technically this is my sleep system right here. There's the hammock. There's the bug net. We got some straps. Um, you still need the sleeping pad because your back will freeze right off. And then I tend to use a sleeping bag. So those are things that are constants anyways. And then you also gotta have this tarp and some stakes oh, and some paracord for your ridge line and that's pretty good and that right there is pretty much my entire sleep system for my hammock and the reason that I want to get away from it is because all of that and he still can't fit with me but if I were to just use this tent I think this is a three and a half man tent look at that I mean, that is really not taking up that much more room because you got the tarp, and the bug net. Now granted, you don't always need the bug net, but sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You don't always, but you'll bring it. You gotta have the stakes, you gotta have that. Because like, that's a winter setup. And not even then, you can replace this bag. That's what, a 50 degree bag? You throw it right out and then you throw this bag in there. It's winter time. So I think where I'm at with it all, if I replace this, because for summertime, all I need to sleep during the summer, really, I grab this, I grab my straps, and I grab my bag, and I'm off to the races. This is how I sleep outside in the summer. Right there. That's me. But in the winter, I think I'm going to change my setup. This is a three and a half man tent. Me and my dog and our gear, we could probably utilize a two man, maybe two and a half. So I was just debating, do we set up the tent? Do we go research another one? Do we just go get another one? Right here, we're just gonna set the tent up. I got my dog with me. I got all the rest of the gear here. We're gonna go ahead and set this up real quick. See what we got, make our decision then. It's really not bad at all. Even while filming, it's pretty achievable. This snaps right together. And I enjoy this design because you don't have to mess around with slipping any of the poles in those sleeves. It just never used to work out. I prefer this. So what I got going, I got my bag in there and then I got my gear just kind of simulated how I would have it if I was actually getting ready to go to sleep. And that's a lot of room. I don't think we need that much room at all. All right, so right now we're in the tent and I think there's too much room, like way too much. Hey, come here, buddy. See, because even with the dog in here, he can lay down. He's not on the sleeping bag, bubs. Jeez Louise. Even if he was in here laying down, sleeping with us. I mean, look at all that room. Yeah. So it's settled. We've, we've made our decision. 3.5 is too big for me and my dog. Also, I think that all of this screen would be a regret. Now during the summer, God, look at this thing, man. It's just, it's, it's super, it's super amazing. But in the winter with the dog trying to stay warm, carrying this tent on my back, I think we should figure something else out. I was like, I want a bivy, it's simplistic. You roll it out, I crawl inside of it. 
with my Nemo and I'm sleeping. But I got my dog, so I gotta keep gotta keep him involved, keep him in mind. Wonder if they make like a, a man and a half tent. Or even a tent. Yeah, he's gotta be in there with me. I can't have him outside. All right, we've got some figuring. Now that I'm looking at this, I got my setup and I got this and I think it'd be a perfect excuse to go ahead and go buy a new sleeping pad. All right, so we figured a couple things out. We figured out that we potentially need a new tent, but the one that we have can and will suffice. We've also figured out that we need to find a solution for the dog sleeping pad. And while we're thinking about it, we might even need to find a blanket. That might be a stroke of genius as well. Dude, I'm pumped up about it. I'm pumped up about it. I might go ahead and just sleep in there tonight. You know, we got some flaws in our system. We got some kinks to work out. It's all good, though. I am pumped up about it. I'm ready for springtime 2021 camping. Call me Adventure Boy. I'm going to work and living in the woods. Ha! <laughs>